Good morning, everyone. It is Susan, and today is the last day of my vacation week. Um, it's Friday morning, and yeah, so I got a lot done this week, crafty-wise, anyway. <laughs> um, so today, um, I wanted to work on um, a page for my junk journal, and I was looking at the papers, and I do want something rather, I want to say plain. Um, this white is actually perfect for what I need. This is a bag that I basically deconstructed, and um, yeah, and I think that this Gosh, either side of, well, any side of this will work. Um, I'm actually thinking maybe right here would be best. So it's basically the back of the bag. So this is what I'm going to work on. And I have taken out a ton of stuff. <laughs> so I have like lots of ideas. <laughs> um... So I know that the focal point is going to be this flower right here. And um, um, I got this from Pretty Little Studio, probably, I don't know, two, three years ago. So I like that. <clears throat> and what I did was I took some scrapbook paper, 12 by 12. This is actually, let me show you, it's a... Um, it is Jen Hadfield. Uh, this is family. And that's the side that I'm going to use. So I have this. I have a piece of, um, you know, I never know what to call, call this song paper. I don't know. What do you call this? You guys tell me. What's the appropriate word to call this? <laughs> I honestly don't know. But anyways, I have that, and I kind of, well, I don't kind of like it. I really like it because it says, Jesus paid it all up on top, and I am planning on keeping that up there, so we will see. So, I, I, I don't know. I have a ton of stuff pulled out. I think the first thing I'm going to do is decide on how I want to um, edge these papers so if you look at the flower, it's more pink than anything. Um, so I'm just trying to think, do I want to go like, like with a really subtle pink? Or do I just go... So this is worn lipstick. This is picked raspberry and this is candied apple. I was even thinking of using black soot. And I, I think maybe, I don't know, I really want to do black soot. I really, 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 really do. But I'm not going to because, because I feel like I need to do something that's not as grungy as usual. So maybe what I'll do, oh, I can't decide. I think I'm going to go with candied apple because I like how dark it is. It's a really colorful ink. Um, so let me grab this and let's go ahead and edge these papers. If I don't like it, I'm switching to black. <laughs> and let's see, I do like that. I do, I do, but it's not the right color. It's so much not the right color. It, it's a much more orangey color than, than the flower. Is that all right? Ooh. You know what? I'm going to go with it. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. I'm going with it because I do like it. I think it's pretty. And I think it could potentially really just help the whole page pop. All right? Sometimes if you have the colors too matchy matchy then nothing pops so you know what I'm gonna give it a try if I hate it 
Oh, see, but look at how beautiful that is. It actually helps the flower, I think, to pop on that page. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm going to do this with the black. So I'll have two different um, inks on here. So let me get rid of that and let's go. Oh, look at me. I'm like a mess already. I just started. <laughs> And let's go to black soot. Oh, I think that that's like a perfect solution because then it's not too, too much of that, that candied apple. I feel like I might need to get a new black soot. This does not feel as juicy as it should, this ink. I guess I was hoping it was a little darker, but you know what, I can, I can add just a little bit more, just like this, just to get the very edge as dark as possible. All right, that helped. Yeah, that helped, it made it a little darker. Okay, good, I'm in good shape. I'm just gonna move this to the side and let's take a look at how it looks now. So see, I do like that. Good choices, good choices so far. All right, so now, Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff pulled out. I don't even know where to begin. Um, let me show you a couple ideas of what I was thinking. One idea that I had would be to put this across. Um, see, this one would cover a lot of the greenery, but it could go right there. And then have this black lace go over the middle that's pretty right i like that i definitely like that so that's one idea i have this which i could dye and i took out some spray to make it darker so i could dye this and make it darker and use that and i really like that i have to say um could i add even some of this. Oh, I could add even some of that black. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like that. I like that. Um, I also have this, which I think is gorgeous. So this is a really wide piece of lace. And you know what? I really, 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 really like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also have this. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm sticking a lot with, you know, black and white. So this is super pretty too that I could use. I have that. Um, I do have the Tim Holtz measuring tape. I like that. But one thing I was thinking of doing is taking some of this, which is a fabric, and doing that. See, I think that that's pretty too. I like that a lot. I like that. I'm leaning towards this right now. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of leave that there. So, so if I do that, I even had these little extra die cuts and stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of leave this and let's do some auditioning of this on this page. So I can put in some extra little pieces, which would look pretty. I even have Some butterflies I like that I like that let me make sure this is in screen yes okay I like that 
I know you guys are saying, no, no, do the other one, do the other one. I like this. See, I didn't go for any orangish, um, orange shaded butterflies. I wanted to go with a totally different color simply because, well, I, there's no way I could match that and it could look really clashy. That actually looks good down there too. And it also looks good up there. I have little mushrooms. I have this little 65 cent thing. So I'm liking that. I like that a lot, actually. All right. So now um, I even have some graphic 45. This black um, ribbon right here. Super cool. Let me see. Let's see. So I like this because it actually has um, text on it. Don't know what it says. What does it say? Oh. Unequaled out definitions. Peculiar. Not, not much going on there. Okay, so I could even... Now, I do, <clears throat> I do have to be careful on how dimensional I make this. So, I really like that. Um, I do have a little piece of this black mesh. Let me cut a piece of this off because that might be fun to add. Let's see. All right, I feel like I have process of elimination here, so we're doing good. And this this could actually, ah, it's sticking to my fingers. It could go up here like that. Oh, I like that. You know what? I like it, except that I feel like it's a little top heavy. If you know what I mean, um, it's feeling like everything is up top or in the middle. How can I fix that? What can I do? I can add washi on the bottom. That would help. That would help. All right, I'm gonna go for this. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, and that that um, song page is from this. Um, yeah, this is an older book. Brunk Brothers Evangelistic Campaign. Den, Den High, Virginia. Yep, yep, yep. So that's where that, that page is from. That's George Brunk, <laughs> whoever he is. <laughs> He's the guy. Oh, and Lawrence Brunk, <laughs> uh, 1953. All right, um, all right, I'm gonna start getting things down. Oh, where, oh, where should I begin? Let's see, I have even pulled out like little flowers like this and I could all, always add those to the bottom. That might be a bit much, but I'll keep that as a thought. And I did pull out some other papers thinking that I could add some of these, but I don't need those, so I'm in good shape with that. I'm happy with this, maybe just adding a bit more to the bottom. All right, let me move everything out of the way, and let's do this. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is remove this and let's get these pieces down. So I try to just hold it where it was and if it's not perfect, it's fine. And then I just put some adhesive underneath and then just push it down. Sometimes this works. You know, I'm going to do this little 65 center first. And then the bigger piece. Sorry if my fingers are like totally in the way. 
but I'm trying not to move this very much. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. I can still see Jesus paid it all. We're in good shape. I'm going to now remove these and put down these two pieces. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is let's get this guy down because I know where I want him. All right, right there. And then let's get this down. So, you know, I mean, I think the, the fun of this is figuring out what you want to use. Well, even like the fun of it is just pulling everything out that you think you might, might want to use. <laughs> right? That's the first part of it that's really fun. And then the second part is um, getting it together um, like this, right? Figuring out placement. And then, um, then it's like figuring out um, how to get everything on there. <laughs> Once you have the placement that you desire. All right, so now I wanna cut this, both of these. So I think I'm just, I'm, let me remove this. The edge of this is just like a little crunkly. So I don't want the very, very end of this. Now this is not gonna go to waste. You will see this on one of my clusters or something. It's beautiful, right? Um, I'm gonna put this. I'm probably going to have to staple this lace on because how the heck would you even glue this? I don't know. Like, I don't have the patience to sit there <laughs> and get glue on all these little pieces on the back of it. I just don't. Okay, so now I have to decide, do I want it all the way to the edge of the song paper? Or do I want it only over the paper where the flower's going to go and I have my answer? I want it there. So I'm just gonna cut it, here goes. Close your eyes and cut. All right, let's see, good or bad, it is what it is now. All right, so we have it, it's good, I'm happy. Now let me get my stapler and I'm gonna staple the heck out of this. Thank goodness for the tiny attacher. for this side. Oops. I'm trying to pull it so it's a little, you know, tight, not too loose, but I don't want it too tight. Okay, so then the next piece was this here. So this is that mesh. I know I want to get that up there, so let me see. I don't want it neat. See, here I am futzing with it way too much. Um, okay, so here goes. I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm going to kind of do that. And, and place it over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put it down. Like that. And let's see if I need to fix any of that. Actually, I like that. I like the way it's coming over the side here, but is not super neat, right? It's looking a little, a little messy, which is good. Okay. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and get the flower down. Or do I want to do the washi first? Let's try. So if I have that there, well, I don't need another butterfly, so I can put that away. I don't need this, because that's too much. 
I could add <clears throat> a flower on the bottom, but I think the first thing I'm gonna do, let me just put a piece of washi down here, and I'm not gonna put it all the way across. I'm gonna go about like that. And I, this one I am gonna bring all the way to the edge, like that. I like that a lot. So now, <clears throat> If I have that there, see that helps with the bottom of it. I don't know that, I don't think I'm gonna put any flowers on the bottom. The sun's starting to come in my window, you can see it. Here's that little mushroom. I do like the little mushroom down there. Oh, sorry, so I might add the mushroom. So now I have to figure out how the heck am I gonna glue this rose on? How am I gonna glue it? Um, I'm thinking, I am thinking, well, I have to go with the wet adhesive, so I want to put most of it on the bottom of the flower and a little bit down and at the top of the leaves. Okay, so here goes. I'm just hoping that this is going to work this adhesive. All right, so that's quite a bit. Let me put a little bit more up here. Oops. And let's get it down. Like that. And go down just a tad. Well, that's gonna work. I can feel it's it's grabbing on. That's good. Um, do I want to put a staple at the bottom or just try to glue that down? Let's try to glue that down just a little bit. And let's glue this. Oh yeah, all right, that worked. That definitely worked. I'm gonna put this little guy down here because I think he's cute, this little mushroom. Well, it's two mushrooms. I'm just gonna put it down here. Oops, go underneath. Go underneath like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It's still grungy. Yeah, it's, it's pink. <laughs> pink and black. And a little bit of blue for the butterfly. Got a little ephemera, a little washi going. I like the two-tone of the ink. Love it. Okay, so now we're going to get it on to this page. And you know what? I mean, my first... In instinct is, oh my gosh, I need to do something to the paper. But in this case, I think that having that white background is exactly what I need. I am not going to touch it at all. And let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to use, I think I'll use this adhesive. Um, this is also Tombow, but it's a little different than that Aqua. You know, and I could have made this a pocket and the whole thing, but I don't think so. Because remember, I have to keep this a little bit, um, flat, as flat as possible. All right, here goes. And I want to show you something that I added to my junk journal that you guys haven't seen yet, unless you pay attention to photos. <laughs> if you do, you would have seen a photo of it in my last video where I did the first page um, in this journal. But I want to show you something real quick. All right. And I usually just take a, a tissue, a, you know, paper towel, whatever, 
and I like to just press things down. It's just like that kind of that that final, just making sure everything is down. And I use something because otherwise my hands get all sticky. All right. So let's get this back in and I'll show you that that extra thing that I added. Oh, I'm so glad I added this this bag. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, it almost, I, I love it. I think it's just beautiful. I love how, you know, I didn't put anything around, no ink around the rose. So that white around there with the white there with the almost white bag looks super pretty, super pretty. All right, so I'm gonna have to let this dry, but I do wanna show you. Remember I showed you the funky little flower, the paper flower? I mean, it flattens out, but I think it's still super cute. I glued it on the inside of my cover. Isn't that cute? I think it looks adorable there. <laughs> oh my gosh, and that was the first page I did. So here we go, second page done. I am enjoying the heck out of this. Okay, so there we go. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you would like to see uh, more videos around uh, this junk journal, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, I added one more thing. So on the top of this page, this came in the Your Creative Studio Kit, this clip. It's just a clip clipped up here on the page. And um, I put some, um, some cloth up here. And I thought it was super pretty because I want it to look very, um, I don't know, like with a lot of stuff hanging out of it. So there we go, that's the beginnings. All right, let me go back here so that that doesn't glue shut. All right, so that's it. And I will be back with more videos. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.